Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to Cooking with Claudia. Today I'm showing you how to make tornado garlic parmesan roasted potatoes. These potatoes are shaped just like a tornado. They're such a fun and delicious way to make potatoes. All ingredients and measurements will be in the description box. Let's get started. To start making tornado potatoes, you're going to need some gold potatoes and some skewers. First, you're going to insert a skewer through a potato. Once the skewer comes through the other end of the potato, you're going to repeat the process with the rest of your potatoes. Next, place a skewered potato onto a cutting board. Then you're going to use a sharp knife to cut spiral slices through the potato. Make sure your knife is slightly angled as you're cutting through the potato. Then roll the skewered potato towards the knife. Once you've sliced up the potato, gently separate the spirals along the length of the skewer. Once separated, it's going to look like this, just like a tornado. Go ahead and repeat the same process with the rest of your potatoes, then set them aside for later while we prep the rest of our ingredients. In an empty bowl, we're going to mix together some breadcrumbs, paprika, salt and pepper to taste, I'm going to grate in some parmesan cheese, then mix everything together. Once everything is mixed in, I'm going to set the mixture aside. Next, I have some olive oil in a bowl. I'm going to infuse the oil with some garlic. So I'm going to crush a few cloves of garlic in my mortar until it turns into garlic paste. I'm adding the paste into the olive oil, then mixing everything together. Next, I'm going to arrange the potatoes onto a baking sheet, then I'm brushing the garlic oil on each side of the potato. The oil will seep through the slices of the potato and give them as much flavor as possible. Next, I'm going to sprinkle the breadcrumb mixture on both sides of each potato. And guys, don't do what I'm doing, okay? I was wasting too much breadcrumbs. It was getting all over the baking sheet. So my logical thinking was to hold the potato over the bowl, but then I was making even more mess. I probably should have used a bigger bowl. I don't know. I don't think properly when I'm filming. Look at all this mess. Anyways, once all your potatoes are very well seasoned, you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then bake the potatoes for about 45 minutes. If you're using smaller or lesser potatoes, you're going to bake them for a lesser time. Halfway through the baking time, you're going to flip over the potatoes, that way they can bake very well on both sides. When your potatoes are done baking, stick them with a toothpick to make sure they are very soft. And here they are when they're all done roasting. They look so good. They're very crispy on the outside and soft and buttery on the inside. I'm going to sprinkle them with a little bit of salt and fresh parsley. Then these are ready to be enjoyed. I like to serve with a little bit of freshly grated parmesan cheese and ketchup. These tornado potatoes can be a very good snack or you can serve them as a side dish with some grilled chicken or steak. They came out very well flavored, crispy on the outside and soft buttery on the inside. If you guys would like the ingredients and measurements, check the description box, I have everything there. 